through the tiny tunnel. If that skinny bugger had trouble getting through there, my real life one would never get through there. My shoulders would be deeper purple than a grip. I feel like there's something better I can say. Hello. Somehow I knew I'd find you here. Ah, oh, Yagamishi. You here to join this raid I'm about to get going? <laughs> Probably not, huh? What can I do for you? Got something I need a guy like you for, Tsukumo. This is Makoto Tsukumo. He's, well, he's a character. Tsukumo makes a living digging up dirt on the internet. A modern day informant, if you will. More detective work, I assume? What's the mark this time? A lost cat? Someone go missing? I'm looking for someone. The owner of Club Amour, a man named Aragaki. He's probably somewhere nearby, but I don't have time to scour all of Kamurocho either. <laughs> you got that right. Searching on foots for cavemen. Uh, here, can I see your phone for a quick second? My phone? Sure. What do we have here? You already have the chatter app, Yagamishi. I do? Oh. I guess it came pre-installed. Well, you're in luck. In my hands, this stupid app becomes a powerful way to find people. Really? How? Hold on. I'm busting into their servers now. And there we go. Here, take a look. Go ahead, try searching for something. Maybe a name? That would be Aragaki. Okay, and let's limit the time period while we're at it. Say, today. See? That map will tell you the GPS position of all the relevant chatter posts. Not gonna lie, I had to give myself admin privileges to get that one, though. <laughs> wow. Hmm, 128 hits. We're gonna need to narrow down the search. Not sure what else we can put in, though. Didn't you say the name of the club, Yagamishi? Some crazy French word? Oh yeah, it's Club Amour. Great, let's try Aragaki and Club Amour. Well, looky there, narrowed it down to one. So Aragaki wrote this, huh? Nope, just someone who saw him. That's still a massive hint, though. See, it got posted only 10 minutes ago, meaning the poster might still be nearby. So, if I were you, I'd get down there and see if you can find out where your man went. I marked the spot on your map, Yagamishi. Hope it comes in handy. Good luck out there. Appreciate it. Oh, and try to get out more, okay? <laughs> Why on earth would I do that? Oh, he has a dinner menu on there. What do we got there, buddy? Pasta? Curry? Noodles? More curry? Something? I can't see the other three pictures because they're so tiny. My vision's not the best. Or even good, to be honest. <laughs> How did I leave? Oh, there we go. Wait, no, this is a smoking room. I don't need to smoke here. Let me out. Aha! Four hundred only. Not enough.
<clears throat> Actually, I might as well just max like the uh. Max out the camera one. Probably won't use it, but good to max it out. The chinko. Not a popo. Trinity? No. Hello. Got a second? Sure. I can spare a few of those. What's up? I'm looking for the owner of a club called Amour. Any idea where he is? Actually, yeah. Just saw him. Wasn't in a great mood from the look of it. Must have really lost big time on the pachinko slots. Any idea where he was heading? Toward Taihe Boulevard. Probably getting sushi, if I had to guess. Sushi? Really? Isn't that a little pricey for a guy who just lost a bunch of money? <laughs> you don't get it. You get sushi after a big loss to cheer yourself up. What's ten more grand if you've already lost fifty or a hundred? Winning's what makes you stingy. Feels like it'd be a waste to blow your earnings on something dumb. Huh. I'd never thought about it. Anyway, thanks a bunch. I'll head over to that sushi joint. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> I feel like, yeah. Please, Suchi. No. See you next time. Hmm? Aragaki-san, the owner of Amor. <laughs> and you are? Yagami from the Yagami Detective Agency. I want to talk about what happened on the night of December 3rd. Oh, yeah? Sorry, not ringing any bells. Come on, you and I both know that's not true. <laughs> well, it is. I don't know a damn thing. Why don't I jog your memory, then? I've got something to show you. Take a look. <sighs> On the night of the crime, you left Amur with these Matsugane goons, leaving Hamura and Kume, the victim, alone in there. You're knee-deep in this. <sighs> I guess I can't argue with that logic. Don't worry. I won't ask for anything too out there. Just a bit of your time. I'm working on Hamura's defense, and I'm hoping you're the silver bullet. Oh, yeah? Whatever. I'll talk. You actually tracked him down. Appreciate the help. Now, what went down around 9 p.m. on the night of December 3rd? Well, uh, Captain Hamura brought that Kansai punk Kume in here. It was out of the blue. Caught me off guard. Were there any other customers here at the time? Just a few. They bailed when Hamura came busting in here. Who wouldn't? I ended up sending the girls home, too. Once everybody was gone, the Matsugane guys just laid into Kume for almost an hour. You uh, didn't hear that from me. You're good. Don't worry. Then right around 10, something kind of weird happened. Hamura kicked everyone out of the club. Even me. And the only ones left inside were Hamura and Kume. <sighs> yep. You know why Hamura kicked everyone out? He... He said Kume reminded him of an old friend. Claimed they needed to have a chat, alone. At least that's how he worded it. And that didn't seem weird to anyone? Oh, the Matsugane boys had plenty to say about it. <sighs> but if the boss tells you to leave, you get the heck out. 
No clue what went down in the club after that. Tell me about the camera out back. The broken one. Oh, that? How long's it been like that? For about a month. Some drunk asshole chucked a rock. <sighs> Cracked it right open. It was just for show, though. Never actually worked in the first place. How much use to me, then? Did you just sit and watch while the Matsugane tore into Kume? What do you mean? What else could I have done? Called the cops on them for one. Not like they're especially good for business. Nor is a dead body in your club. Come on. They'd have killed me if I did that. And frankly, it didn't look like they were hurting him too bad. If anything, they were going easy on him. Meaning what? Like just smacking him around a bit. You know, nothing too serious. Once in a while, they'd hit him a little harder, to make him bleed, I guess. Well, thanks. This is a huge help. Are we done here? Mm-hmm. Kaito, what's up? Hey, man. Where are you? Just left a club called Amour, over on Supon Street. Amour? Isn't that one of the Matsugane joints? Yep. Hamura and the victim were apparently alone in here the night of the murder. Anyway, need something? Yep. Swing by the office when you're done there. What's up? Uh, it's no rush. You'll see when you get here. Later. Green Del Pachinko. Kind of ironic he goes all the way over to that street when there's Pachinko place right next to him. Can I afford... Yes. Oh, momentum, mental momentum could be useful. Tempting. I have so many puns or jokes I could do for that. And they are all terrible. Hmm. Isn't this the crime scene itself? Making me sneeze. I'll try that. I'll try that. What the? 
Why is she here? How about you ask her yourself, Romeo? Good to see you, Yagami-kun. Don't worry, it's not what you think. And before you ask, she's not here to win your heart again. Win my heart again? Hold on a minute. Let's make one thing clear. We never dated. Guess I misspoke. Don't sue. <clears throat> I'm here on business. That should be obvious. Business? The prosecutor's office is pressing murder charges against Kyohei Hamura of the Matsugane family. You're involved, aren't you, Yagami-kun? Word travels fast. Nothing that happens in Genda's office gets away from me. Saori-san just can't keep a secret, huh? Not with me. We go way back. Since you were kids, right? Yep. Back to Hamura, though. They're already pressing charges? They only just arrested him. Apparently the prosecutor's had his eye on Hamura for a while now. He's just been lying in wait for the perfect moment to strike. And this prosecutor is... Your friend, Izumira. Somehow I knew it'd be him. You haven't seen that guy since the whole not guilty verdict, huh, Talk? Yep. He's probably still sore about it. Too bad Shintani's gonna be the one in charge of the case and not me. You're really never becoming a lawyer again, are you? I don't want to talk about it anymore. Genda Sensei asked me the same question. I see. Does the prosecution have any work for me? I'd be glad to cut you a discount. You know what, Yagami-kun? Hmm? This detective business really doesn't suit you. Couldn't she have just called? Think she went through the trouble for a reason? Maybe you? It's, uh, getting dark out. I should walk her back. Huh. Probably not far. Mafa you. Not so fast. Who are you? Huh? Chief Prosecutor? And Yagami-kun, what are you doing? Well, I was planning to walk you home. Really? That's so sweet. Well then, I apologize for my forcefulness. Sure. This is Chief Prosecutor Morida. And, um, you already know Prosecutor Izumida. Long time no see, Yagami Sensei. Courtroom just hasn't been the same without you around. Damn near breaks my heart. So you're defending Hamura, huh? Nope, Shintani's handling it. I'm just collecting evidence. Looks like you don't need that walk home, Mafuyu. Later. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You're not a lawyer anymore. Even after your landmark acquittal. Too bad. I only won because I was up against you. You shut your damn mouth. If it wasn't for your bullshit logic, that murderer would have been behind bars. An innocent girl died because of you. Tell me what was so bullshit about my defense then. Come on, say it. Everything! That's enough, Izumita. It's okay, Izumita-san. Uh, thanks for thinking of me, Yagami-kun. Farewell. Man, has that guy got an aura or what? 
If I was a chick, I'd be way into that. Not now, Kaito-san. My bad, my bad. So, what do we do about the case? Mafuyu said they're already pressing charges. We should go to Genda's. Let Shintani know what's going on. I want you there, too. Got it. See you over there, then. What is it now? Look, just, uh, take a breather, huh? Count to ten or something. I'll give you a breather. So Kaito <sighs> likes powerful men. Hmm. These are all for girlfriend. Nice fridge. Badass fridge. Hmm. May why not? Sorry about your parking sucked. Coffee. Why would your husband put a fish in the percolator? Would it be good? Probably not. I'm saying that I have eaten fish and drank coffee at the same time before. Mainly because it's the most common thing I have in my house at the moment.
while you're at it, please pre-order me the new Yakuza game. I'll pay you a figurine. <laughs> the power of friendship. Oh, hello, symbol. Here you go. Hey, Yagami. The hell were you thinking sending Kaito here by himself? Guy acts like he owns a goddamn place. <laughs> All hail King Kaito. Just sit your ass down, would you? So, you finally have some details from the cops. Murder specifics, forensic results, even their proof that Hamura's the one who did it. That's a lot. Let's see it. But first... Hmm? Just don't forget your role in all of this. Especially you, Yagami. At the end of the day, you're just a mercenary. The one who decides how this investigation goes is me. Understand? You got it. It's your show. Now, why don't we look at those documents, Shintani-sensei? That's more like it. First up is the crime scene. Huh. Around 6 a.m., morning of December 4th, police get a call about a body in the alleyway behind a moor. The officer who rushed to the scene confirmed the corpse on arrival. Okay. I just noticed it's zooming in on his crotch. <laughs> Suspicious. Victim was a Kansai thug, bottom feeder with the Kyori clan, Toshiro Kume. Body had a few bruises, but the cause of death is pretty obvious. Two puncture wounds, straight through the eyes. The cops think the murderer used something like an ice pick, pierced right into his brain. My eyes hurt just thinking about it. Oh, <sighs> you're telling me. Looks like the murder weapon went through Kume's eyes. 
and tore him out when the killer took it back. Only natural to think the Tojo was trying to make an example out of him. You know, threaten the Kyore. So even if Hamura didn't do it, it's damn likely that someone from the Tojo clan did. And if we can figure out who it was, Hamura will be off the hook. What? Find the real killer? That's a step too far. Priority number one is proving his alibi. We do that, we're in the clear. Nothing on the hands? Okay. What the? There's pretty much no blood anywhere near the body. Meaning Kume wasn't murdered in that alley. If I had to guess, I'd say he died in a moor. Hmm. Hmm. Hey. Suspicious. Night of the crime, an employee from another bar tossed their trash out in this alley. Around 2 a.m. Didn't see anything out of the ordinary, though. In other words, Kume got dumped sometime between 2 and 6 a.m. when the body was found. Makes sense. What the? Nothing was found in Kume's pockets. No wallet, no phone, nothing. Bet the murderer broke the phone. Cops tried one of those find my phone things, but came up empty handed. Guess the killer at least tried to cover his tracks. Hmm. You take a peek in the alley when you were over at a moor? Doubt there's any traces left at this point. But it's apparently just out the back. Anyway, this is Kume, just before he died. Before the killer took his eyes. Come on, don't say stuff like that. So what's the prosecution's angle on this? Well, try thinking about it in the context of the Tojo Kyori feud. Two other Kyori Yakuza turned up dead before this, each with their eyes gouged out. Not a far leap to assume the Tojo's responsible for all three murders. You follow? Wait, what if Kume kicked everyone out so someone could come in through the back? Someone who knew how to take the eyes out. That would explain why Kume didn't have the same record as the others. But he could still be implicated. Yep. Go on. All right. This is how the prosecution thinks it all went down. We'll explain the broken camera. December 3rd, just around 9 o'clock. Right out front of Club Amor. An argument breaks out between Captain Hamura of the Matsugane family and Kume and Murase of the Kyore clan. Hamura and his thugs drag Kume into the club. At which point, Murase abandons Kume and flees the scene. Hamura then locks Kume in a moor for around an hour, while he and his boys beat the daylights out of the guy. Around 10 p.m., Hamura kicks everyone out, leaving only himself and Kume in the club. Up to that point, their story matches the camera footage and the testimony we have from the owner of Amor. The prosecution's story continues as follows. Once the two of them were alone, Hamura tortured Kume even more violently. Then, between 2 and 3 a.m., he drove a sharp weapon into Kume's eye, killing him instantly. Once he finished gouging Kume's eyes out, Hamura dumped the body in the alley behind Amor. When questioned, Hamura said, Me and Kume left Amor around midnight. I went for a steam right after. But since no evidence can back up that claim, the prosecution doubts its credibility. 6 a.m. on the morning of the 4th, 
Kume's body was found. And one week later, they arrested Hamura. So they've got three things. The camera footage, the blood stains in the club, and Hamura's Swiss cheese alibi. Any of those alone wouldn't be enough to get a conviction. But with all three, the prosecution thinks they've got this case in the bag. End of the day, to them, it's just Yakuza offing Yakuza. Makes sense they'd see it that way. I'm more interested in what you think, though. Did Hamura actually kill Kume? I don't know. The guy rubs me the wrong way, yeah. But I'm pretty sure he's innocent. A cunning Yakuza like Hamura wouldn't just offload the corpse in an alley like that. Too sloppy. If he really did it, forget about the eyes. You'd never even find the body. Agreed. That's Arshintani Sensei. Prickliest guy in town. But damn if he's not a terrific lawyer. With you there. Um... Was that supposed to be a compliment? What? Something wrong? If Hamra didn't do it, the person who did is still out there somewhere. Huh? We've just got to find them if we want to clear Hamra's name. Ha! Huh. You think we've got the manpower for that? Tracking down a criminal like that takes an entire organized front. Best leaving that to the cops, if you ask me. My only job here is defending Hamra. That's fair. However, I'm not a lawyer. As he said, I'm a mercenary. My only job is getting information while he does the work. Gives me a lot of free time, doesn't it? Then what's your next move? Ah, uh, gonna need some more info on the victim. Remember Kumi's buddy? The one who ran off when the Matsugani boys jumped him. Name's Akira Murase, from the Kyore clan. I want to hear what he has to say. About what? About what he did after he watched Kume get dragged into the club. Did he really just abandon his friend? It's hard to believe. Come on, man. Is this the time to go knocking on the Kyore clan's door? Sounds like suicide to me. I bet they're out for blood after what happened to Kume. One way or another, I want that info from Marase. Huh. <laughs> You're the ones who have to figure out how to get it. That's the deal, remember? The deal my ass. Poking a hornet's nest ain't gonna get us anything but stung. <laughs> He's right, though. Come on, Kaito-san. <sighs> Fine. First things first, we need to find out where the Kyore clan's hiding. They gotta have a base or something. Probably quickest to just go ask Matsugane-san. He's got all the real Tojo clan dirt. Oh, uh, I guess I'll pass. Can't exactly waltz in, being expelled and all. Yeah, I'll take care of this one by myself. I'll call you when I'm done. Bye, buddy. And stay down. Sorry, bike. But not really. 
Is that an inflatable beer? Hmm. Never seen one of those before. Or at least never paid attention to it. Here, right this way. The Matsugane are an offshoot of the Tojo clan. Not the biggest Yakuza family on the block. They're a small branch that's low on the tree. But the family's patriarch, Mitsugu Matsugane, is like a father to me. And Kaito-san. Excuse me. Yagami-san's here to pay you a visit. Oh, so good to see you again, my boy. Now then, feels like ages since you last stopped by. I know. I wonder why that is, huh? Could it be that you're the only one who's glad to see me? Well, you have a point there. How's Kaido these days? Staying out of trouble? He's okay. If not for that incident, he'd still be part of the family, you know. Hard to believe it's already been a year. Uh, the both of you are more or less the sons I never had. The past is what it is. True. But I'm glad to hear he's doing well. Under your watch. I'm sure Kaito-san will always feel like my Aniki. If not for you, I would have taken another direction in life. I'd be a very different person, I think. You'd have turned out just fine, my boy. Excuse me. T. So then, what would drag you back to an office where you're not exactly welcome? Hamura is giving me some grief. Is he now? I was under the assumption Genda is handling the issue. Are you helping him out with the case now? Shintani's got me looking for the Kyori clan. I just need to find them, so I can ask him a few things. Not wise, my boy. You do know they're all up in arms right now. Sure you want this? Don't worry. I just want to have a word. Does the name... The Kajihira group mean anything to you? No. Can't say that it does. They're a Kansai outfit. It's... They've got a front in the city. The KJ Art office down on Senrio Avenue. Be careful, though. There's Kyori crawling on every floor. These are Tojo clan streets, but that's their turf now. Senrio Avenue. KJ Art, eh? I'll check it out. I know you're busy. Although, you think I could visit your office someday soon? Keep it on the down low? Yeah, of course. I like this group. Friendly dad, Anagai makes tea. Kaito-san, just left the Matsugane office. The QRA are shacked up in some place called KJ Art. Huh, and that's where we'll find Morase? Not sure. We won't know if we don't check it out ourselves. You're thinking stakeout, huh? Sounds like the perfect time to give the drone a whirl. That might be our only choice. Fingers crossed. Anyway, I'll see you over there. I can't hit someone who makes a good cup of tea. Or a bad cup of tea. Pretty much any cup of tea. I have very low standards.
How many points do I have? Mm, not enough. I could upgrade mental for mental momentum, but ah, uh, screw it. Why not? I need to really rack up my skill. If I got beaten that much by rookies, Amon's gonna whip my ass. What's up? It's me. You at KJ Art yet? Looks like it. Where are you? I'm on the opposite roof. Look up. Uh-huh. Hey, uh, buddy. I see you. Be up in a sec. There's a cat. I can hear the cat. Where be a fine cat? There we go. Ah, this explains things. Or at least the cats I had to collect in six. I think they are. Cool. Oops. Yo. Hell of a view, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Too bad the place is absolutely crawling with Yakuza. Guess this is the Kyore hideout after all. No doubt. And Marase? Couldn't find him. I looked pretty damn hard at the drone, too. You sure it was hard enough? Uh, sure. Come on, let's try again. I'll fly it this time. When you want something done, do it yourself, right? Sure, you ass. I'll customize it eventually, but for now, let's test it. This here is Marase. Uh -huh. I wonder if we can just peek through the windows, see if we can find him. Yay, pervert mode. Okay. These guys have anything better to do? Rude. 
I like reading. If he's gone, he might as well just have a little fun time. Better than getting pitched on the job. Suspicious. Okay. So what was the idea uh, that it could be a different building, yeah? Or part of two buildings? Oh, the other side. I should have just checked the yeah. Hmm. yeah. That makes sense. Yet we're looking for Marase or No. I'm just checking everywhere, buddy. Uh-huh. I'm not using a hint. I refuse. People on the road, straight. Yeah, I had a feeling maybe he was sneaking up on me or something. No. Hmm. He was not. Huh. Boy, I'm dumb. Hello. That's him. That took way too long. 
for way too little. Shit, we went inside. Let's try and figure out where to. I think I know. Nope. Oh, it's probably the fancy one. Oh, it is here. What the? Hey, there he is. Well fucking done, man. He's a golf map? Really? Cool. Guy has his own office, huh? He must be important. Think they'd let us meet him? We wouldn't get past the front door. <laughs> Especially if we told him why we're here. We'll need to find another way in if we want to put the squeeze on Marase. Agreed. What are you thinking? Oh, there's a few options on the table. As for the best one... Maybe I could go undercover. Oh yeah? Who asked? I was thinking pizza delivery. No. Nope. You ever seen a pizza guy get invited inside? Right. Forget the pizza. What about some kind of repairman? Yep. Now you're talking my language. They've got jumpsuits over at Don Quixote. Still, you can't show up and expect them to just let you stroll on in there. True, huh? I think I've got it. Huh? What would they do if the heater broke? Call a repairman, obviously. Are you suggesting we just wait till it breaks? I don't know. Maybe we could speed things up a bit. Never thought I'd see the day you came up with a plan like that. Who are you? And where'd you bury Tox's body? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Anyway, I'm gonna make things a little chilly for these KJ guys. You keep watch, okay? Sounds good. Let's do this shit. Leaving this here. <laughs>